Hey everyone, it's Madame here and welcome to this current household video. So I know that I've shared a current household video not that long ago, but I said in that video that every time something huge happened to the family I'm playing on my own, I wanted to share it with you and today is a big day because the triplets are going to Egypt to children. And this is a really huge event because I've been struggling for the last eight sims days to take care of them and take care of three toddlers is really awful <laughs> it's a, it's it was a mess a huge mess but it was also really really fun and yeah today is a really really important day so i really wanted to share this with you uh, so right now, Azur is still sleeping uh, and the triplets are all sleeping as well. But there's Jeremiah, he went for a jog because he's quite active. So yeah, he's running around. So yeah, we're just going to celebrate their birthday. I also have a few things to say about this family that happened. So as I said, it was a big struggle to take care of three toddlers at the same time and I really thought about all of, the, all of this person, all of the simmers that did the seven toddler challenge. That must have been so awful because just three toddlers, I was insane. That was just awful, but also really fun. I don't even want to imagine how it was with seven toddlers. But there was also really sweet moments like once Aquine was really sad, she felt quite lonely, her dad wasn't there that often because he was the only one able to bring a lot of money into the household so he went to her quite often and Aquina was really sad and her two brothers were there for her and that was such a cute moment like they both went to talk to her and spend time with her to cheer her up you know that was so so cute and I there was Azur who came and she she was just looking at, at her three children and I, saw, I thought that this was a really, really cute moment. So I see that Jeremiah is done with his jog, so let's go and take a speedy shower. Uh, Azur, maybe you can go and cook a cake, even the, or actually bake a cake. But Azur is not the one who has the best cooking skill. This is actually... Jeremiah, who has this? Uh, you know what? We're gonna go for a sugar-free carob coconut cake. Uh, also, I've moved up to the next milestone of Azure Aspiration, and this took me quite a long time because she was taking care of the tr of the triplets, so she didn't have that much time for her. But now I'm on the second milestone, so she changed her career. She's now she's now in the critic career. Uh, I think uh, she if she goes up to the more than the third level of this career, uh, she's going to go into the art critic career. Uh, but we'll see how we go because we still need to work on a few of her, few of her skills so that we can move on to the next aspiration. So also for the triplets, uh, I was able to have them all reach at least the level three to their skills, which is really really cool. There's just Aiden who's at the level three of the seeking thinking skill otherwise Aquine and Andrew are oh no Aquine is still at the level three of the thinking thinking skill I thought she was at level four well anyway they will all have the reward trait that comes with reaching level three so we're going to add birthday candles uh, how are they feeling actually uh, I think Jeremiah's phone is ringing Hey Jeremiah, we'd love to have you join. Oh no, <laughs> it's really not the kind of group he would go to. Uh, so Azur, while the toddlers are still sleeping, can you go and do an energy centering yoga routine? Uh, also, there was some weird things that happened during all this time. Like once we were struggling so hard and there was a weirdo that came into the apartment like it, we didn't even knew, knew him. That was just a random guy that came into the apartment and at that moment we actually hired a nanny because it was really hard to take care of the toddlers all, just the two of them and sometimes just Azur by herself taking care of the triplets. That was so so hard so we hired a nanny and when the nanny was there, there was this random guy who just came into the apartment and he was smashing the dollhouse all the time and we tried to throw him away a couple times but he kept coming back. 
so I deleted him from the world, he was too annoying for that. And recently, the last couple of days, this electric thing in the apartment has been going off all the time. My god, Jeremiah is really famous today. Uh, no, thank you. So yeah, this electric thing has been going off quite a lot and this is a little bit annoying, especially with the triplets running around and this stressing out the Jeremiah and Azur, so hmm, that was a little bit hard to, to, to deal with. So at some point I would like for them to move, but they still don't have that much money. Oh, Andrew is up. He's going to watch his dad, that's cool. And he wants to play with the dollhouse, so maybe he can do that with Jeremiah. Uh, yeah, also Jeremiah has played quite a lot with the triplets with the dollhouse, and that was really, really cute. Like, they do that on their own, that's actually really, really sweet. And once also, Aquine was spending so much time... Wow, oh, you almost had the bridge, Azur. You're quite good now at yoga. She's at level 4, she's about to reach level 5. Yes, almost. So yeah, once Aquini was going on this slide and she was just going on over and over and over again, I think she had so much fun with this slide, while Aiden really don't like this slide. Oh, and also I should show you the traits I gave them when they've aged up to toddlers. So Andrew had the indep independent trait, uh, Andrew had the clingy or clingy trait, I don't know how to pronounce, th pronounce this one, and Aquine had the charmer trait. And I actually already have an idea of how I would like them to be. Oh, Aquine is sad, where is everyone? Oh, she's feeling alone because she's a charmer, charmer Tulda. Uh, so, actually, can you, Azur, go and tell a funny story to your baby girl and talk about day, about her birthday, because this is their birthday today, it's an important day, we are going to be free of all those toddlers, but we are going to have to spend so much money to do their bedrooms. Uh, we, we're in struggle town right now. Um, also, I would like for them to be aged up in the order they were born, which is uh, Andrew was born the first. Uh, Andrew was the first one to be born. Then there was Aiden, and finally Aquine. So we are going to age them up in this order, and I would like to do that now, honestly. So we are going to age up first Andrew. Uh, help blow out candles to Andrew. Uh, no, you know what? Wait on that to put the toddlers into into their high chair because they're not going to be toddlers for that long. Okay, important moment. The triplets are going to become children. I really wonder how they're going to look like because Can we see? Can we see? Yeah, I haven't looked at how Azur and Jeremiah genetics mixed up. But look at that! He's, he's looking quite good! Oh, that's so cool! So that's Andrew. So for Andrew, I wanted to go for the motor skill. And I wanted to give him... Uh, I was going for the selfish short trait, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for this self-assured trait. I was imagining him becoming, you know, maybe the quarterback in the football team or something. Like, the pretty popular guy in high school at some point. So I think I'm going to go for this self-assured trait. There we go! Cool! Uh, at birthday candles. Once again, Azure, please. Okay. Oh, and Jeremiah starts work in an hour, so it's definitely time to age up the children. Oh, that's so cool. He's really looking quite good. But I'm going to go to create a sim at the end. Uh, Azur, can you more traces help blow out candles with Aiden? So how is Aiden going to look like? 
Uh, also, I'm going to share some pictures on the screen right now of how they look like because right now they are in their onesie so you cannot see their hair but I gave um, Aiden the cute little curly hair. I really really love this hair. Wait a second, I want to see. So yeah, I'm going to share some pictures of how they looked like when they were toddlers because you cannot really see this right now, I'm sorry. That's a little bit weird. <laughs> okay. So Aiden. Wow. <gasps> so for Aiden, I was actually thinking going for the whiskey desperation. And maybe at some point he's going to become gloomy, but what I was thinking of for him was the geek trait. So let's go for the geek geek trait. Uh Azur, can you now Add another set of birthday candles. I really wonder how Aquin is going to look like because she's the only one to have had her mother's eyes, her mother colors eyes. I think he has his mother's nose. Oh no, Jeremiah is going to work. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. Okay, so how is Akrene going to look like? Wow. Yeah, they're definitely making really good looking children. Okay, so for Akrene, uh, what was I thinking for Akrene? Uh, I would like to go for this social one. But I I always wonder if I really want to take this one because this is the one that I have the most trouble to complete. And I find this quite annoying when I cannot complete an aspiration for a child before they age up to a teen. But you know what? I'm going to go for this social butterfly. And how... What kind of traits? I don't remember the trait I wanted to go for. Her. Oh yes, I remember. I wanted to give her the good traits because this is a trait that I don't really use that often. So yeah, I think Aquini is going to be good. There we go. The triplets have aged up. Finally, we are free. Wow. Yeah, they definitely make good looking children. I actually have no idea how their genetics mixed up, as I said. So, yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to go to create a sim, modify their outfits. Uh, I'm going to do their bedrooms later on. I don't want to do that right now, actually. So, I'm going to take some pictures and probably share them at the end of the video. But right now, I'm going to go into create a sim and modify their outfits. Okay, so there we go. I've just finished to make their makeover. So here you have one of Andrew's outfits and they are definitely looking really, really great. And I think actually that Andrew has his mother no mother's nose, but we'll see when they will be growing up and becoming teens and young adults and all this. But they're definitely, definitely going to be quite good looking. So with Andrew, I went for something that I thought a popular kid would wear. So here you have one of his outfits and here is the other one. Uh, then for formal and athletic, sleeping and all this. Uh, oh, actually, his party outfits, I thought that he he looked like a little, mo a little man. <laughs> That's what I was thinking about. So yeah, and of course sleepwear and swimwear so really basic things then for Aiden I left the hair he grew up with because I, I thought these were suiting him perfectly and he's really 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 cute so here is one of his outfits and I didn't want to go too into the stereotypical ideas of a geek and I hesitated for a while to put some glasses on him, but I don't think any of them will need glasses for a while, so I didn't. But yeah, they're definitely looking quite good. 
So of course, formal, athletic, sleepwear, I went for something that I thought, you know, maybe this is a galactic cat or something and he's, this is a really famous cat into the sci-fi <laughs> world or something. Uh, party wear, pretty simple and casual. And swimwear. And then for Aquine, I went for something quite preppy with her and I've never really used those hair so I'm really happy to be able to use them. And she's the only one to have three different everyday outfits. And when she was a toddler I was actually imagining that the purple and burgundy would be her favorite color. So that's why she... Well, there's no really purple or burgundy into this dress but I really wanted to use this one and... I don't know, the purple one was too bright and this one is great on her. I think she. this is a perfect one. And just to get a closer look to how she looks like. And she's actually the only one to have her mother's eyes color. So I'm really happy that Azur Green Eye are going to go into the genetics at some point. So here is her formal outfits, then athletic. Sleepwear, I love this one. I had something quite similar when I was a girl, a little girl, so I really really like this one. And apparently she has two. Oh no, only one is enough. Then her party wear, still really preppy, and then her swimwear. And for this one I've used the hair that came with Parenthood. First I thought that I could use this one, this one on her. But I decided not to because I've used this this one so many times and I've seen it too many times. But she has it for her swimwear. So there you go, that was the tw the, the, the twins, the triplets makeover and birthday. And now things are going to calm down and I'm really really happy that we can relax now. The toddler life stage is over and hopefully we will not have any other unexpected pregnancy with Azure and Jeremiah. I really, really hope so. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this current household video and I will talk to you in my next video. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.